but for whatever reason, I just have always believed in myself, and if, if I want something bad enough, I will get it. I can drop a little knowledge. I've, I actually had some really nice compliments on my uh, Instagram this morning um, about being inspirational to people and, um, you know, maybe like, um, how would you put it? Being like a good role model, a good role, role model as an artist where you kind of see from the YouTube channel um, how driven you have to be. And to me, it, it's it's kind of natural, like, like I think, um, if you, if I'm gonna do something, I wanna like, I wanna, I wanna do it well and, and satisfy myself. I'm... I always kind of thought that there was like a way that I would do a page, meaning like there was uh, I wouldn't call it a right way, but but um, I think the assumption is is when you look at someone that draws pages and comic books that that they like had this weird structure or, or, or they plan the page to look like that from the beginning and kind of what I'm finding is <laughs> you, you, you do sort of orchestrate it but, but, but what ends up happening is, is you just kind of throw the ideas up in the air and stuff starts to fall into place and then you start to build around it and it's like these little puzzle pieces and you don't necessarily have to start on puzzle piece one to, you know, like, like you don't need to do the border to fill in the middle um, and so, you know, to, to produce, keep the things that are working that look cool, and then you start to work the things into it. And like, you might have panels, you know, two, three, and four sort of peppered through the middle of the page or going this way or whatever they're doing, and it looks really cool. Well, n now you kind of have eliminated, you know, 500 other things that panel one could have been because you've already got these nice shots that flow through your page a certain way. So so that's been a real eye-opener to me because I always kind of thought that, that um, there'd be like a thing, like, like this is how I do pages. And what I, what I find is the best way to do pages is to be like water. You just want to, you want to flow with it. Be water, my girl. Yeah, so I do pretty tight layouts. I actually basically um, digitally paint them in a weird way. I mean, I, I go in with value and, and Photoshop, and I just I take like you know, um, well, my brushes all have nicknames. So I take one that's kind of like a pencil tool with like a chisel, and I do almost like concept art sort of like sort of strokey stuff just to get uh, shapes and exciting things. Um, and then I use what I call Smooth Criminal, which is kind of more of a tapered brush. Um, and I'll, I'll do more definitive lines with that, but I keep it pretty pretty loose um, for things. Um, and uh, Anyway, so um, yeah, make sure that, that um, you, you don't waste time, you know, like don't get stuck and not do anything. There's always something that you can be doing. Dude, my Patreon is slamming. It really is good. It's great, <laughs> I think. I think it's really, an, it's, I think it's a very, very inspiring place for people. I really do. So for, for people that, that want more, go there. You can you, you really um, understand why.
behalf of Cumberland County International and Board of Trustees, it's my honor to present our new uh, award of achievement in comic arts to Richard Prince.